Wow, that's a tough question. Is this um, is this well, okay, so I, I figured out pretty early that to try to make money doing art is incredibly hard. One of the, my rationales was, you know, if I'm going to put this stuff that everybody tells me is bad for me and my body, I want to make it and know what goes into making it. And so it was kind of, I think that was probably my biggest reason why I did it that way. The thing that is really different for me is um, the fact that, that we're putting this together by ourselves and kind of like stepping outside of the gallery system. Now, it's so rare that you can actually make a living and do well at art was what I had heard my whole life. I hated college, I hated what I was doing, and I just opened my, my book to study one night and I noticed that I had every margin covered in you know, ink. It was just completely drawn on and about four lines of notes and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here, you know? What am I, what am I really trying to get out of school? So I switched that night into, into an art major. So That's awesome. I've been doing it all my life pretty much. It was like, you know, okay, you're gonna be a doctor. So all I did was study science. That was my whole track. Now when I look back at all these little things, like whether it was scribblings in notebooks, like while I was trying to pay attention in class or whatever it was, um, it's funny to just see like that creativity, like trying to, trying to get out, but not having an avenue for it. I was a uh, management science major, which is just a quantitative econ. You know, I I wouldn't say. I mean, I I think I did that mainly out of um, just being having a practical major. There are certainly classes that I really enjoyed, like some like game theory stuff. But um, for the most part, it was just kind of didn't really know what I wanted to do and was um, trying to cover all my bases. I knew right away that's what I wanted to do, so uh, I started working for a BFA in painting. I had this pretty amazing uh, college professor, Jeff Freeman, who, who pushed us really hard. I mean, you know, really hard. Like, it, he would, people would cry during critiques and stuff like that, you know. You know, he was honest, and, um, and we all learned from that, I think, you know. Uh, it might have scathed some people more than others, but... <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a pretty powerful experience just to kind of be pushed in that way and kind of always working. And that's when I really started to develop a work ethic, you know, of just trying to produce, trying to constantly produce. To me as an artist, I think it's, it's completely necessary and one of the, I mean, it's, that's how figure drawing started, you know, from the earliest cave paintings of people looking at whoever they were with and putting them on the cave wall. I mean, it, it really it really helps you to have someone there and see how light hits the skin and, and how a collarbone can cast a shadow a lot different than um, what it would in your mind. I began because I went to uh, Europe and it's just blown away to stand there and, and really feel that time capsule feeling of seeing Starry Night, the fucking canvas that yeah. some lonely Vincent Van Gogh painted when no one was buying his paintings. And seeing the texture of the work, um, you know, just, I could see where the brush had left its indentation on the oil paint. And that was enough to make me feel more excited and inspired. You know what the great, the great pieces of art do for you, they make you want to create, they make you excited about the idea of creation and that's what I felt about painting I said oh my god I can't I need to be able to make texture I want people to come and look at paintings and be involved be uh, looking to see what things are touching to see what is this <laughs>
local like artists just doing art just to do it, you know? 